Right, my friends, in today's vlog, I am in the English Lake District. I'm in the South, I'm in South Lakes at the moment, and I'm gonna take a journey in my all electric car, the Porsche Taycan. And we're gonna take a journey over to Keswick. And uh, that's a little bit of a journey from here. And I'm only at about 80 miles of range, I guess, something like that. And we're gonna need to charge up. And the question is, what's it gonna be like charging in the Lake District? especially in the weather like this. Now you're asking, why have I got an electric car? Well, I'm obviously trying to help the environment because things are warming up. The Earth's crust is getting hotter and hotter and uh, it, um, it's helped the environment. I mean, look at the weather today. It's boiling, isn't it? And we need to cool it down a little bit. Anyway, a little bit of English sarcasm there for you. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. And if you like the video, do give it a thumbs up. Come on the journey with me. It's going to be interesting to see what the charging infrastructure in the Lake District is like. Now, without further ado, my friends, let's go. I tell you what, we really do need to get these electric cars and more of us need to purchase these electric cars because if not, the weather's just gonna get hotter and hotter and uh, we're all gonna just, it's gonna get, we're just gonna get uh, to overheated, aren't we? Anyway, milk float on, onwards my friends. Right, I've got the windscreen wipers on on the car. I should have put my should have some on my uh, glasses as well, or should have wiped them to start off with. Right, we're going to head towards Bowness and Windermere and go up that way um, from there. Now then, there are some charges at booths, uh, which are Instavolt. So they're really, really expensive ones. Possibly, I'd say the most expensive out of all the public charging points. But we're going to have a look at that first. The last time I went there. There was an issue because it was really, really busy. They're busy chargers, not only just expensive. So we're going to head there first and see what that's like. We're down to 66 miles of range, 29% uh, of battery left. And uh, we've got to head over towards Keswick. So we're going to need to charge because it's uh, heading north, etc. So we should go up there and um, hopefully we should be fine. But well, it'll be interesting to see what the charging infrastructure is like in a place like the Lake District. You would think that it would be okay with the amount of tourism that we get here each year. I've also got a few news stories to read you as well that I've been reading up on, which is quite interesting. There is allegedly a large amount, thousands and thousands of electric cars down on the ports in the south of England because the uh, motor dealers can't sell them, so they're basically stuck there. And also a report of about how councils are helping to dig out a little hole uh, in the pavement for you if you've got a charger uh, and you need a charger so the people don't trip up over it. They're digging up the pavement free of charge for you at a cost of a thousand pounds so you can lay your cable in there, putting a little uh, trunking in there for you so there we go uh, amongst other things as well some interesting ones and the sales of electric cars are down etc let me pull in here there's a whacking great bus i don't know what, why you're in the middle of the road i don't know because there we go okay i think it's probably because my car's about twice as wide as the bus with it being electric anyway lots of stuff to tell you it's going to be an interesting drive and a beautiful drive as well so stay with me it's gorgeous scenery trust me i've done this before in a petrol car and it's gorgeous you're gonna love it
think yourself lucky sat there at home in your living room or nice and settled down and nestled down on the toilet or whatever i know some of you are on the toilet watching me i think that's probably the best place actually anyway it's people like us these ev drivers and the evangelists who are doing our bit for the environment to stop all this overheating of the planet and oh my word there's a massive flood there and i tell you we're doing our bit what are you doing you just, well, I don't want to know if you're in the toilet. I don't need to know what you're doing. Anyway, onwards. And I hear you say, what about those children digging up cobalt overseas? for the batteries, mining for the batteries in here. Well, I tell you what, we're doing our bit. We're giving them a job. They'd be jobless if it wasn't for people like us, the evangelists who drive our cars around as if we own the road, paying no tax at the moment, for now anyway. Get off the road, ducks. You've got the you've got the lake. Get in the lake. I've got some hoisting sauce in the boot. I'm telling you, and what I'll get you, and I'll make it look like a bloody accident. Right, okay, I've stopped here just for a minute because I thought no trip to the Lake District is a trip to the Lake District. No trip to the Lake District is worthwhile unless you have a quick look at Bowness on Windermere. Now, don't get mixed up because there's Windermere and Bowness. This is Lake Windermere, but it's Bowness on Windermere. And the charges are in Windermere, not in Bowness. They should be in Bowness, really. I'm wondering whether there are. I'm going to check anyway let's get out of the car get my brolly have a quick wander around and see whether there are any i'll read you one of these stories as well because there's quite a few interesting things about evs at the moment in the news but i can't verify whether they're correct or not you can never verify any information can you but i'm guessing it's probably correct anyway come on milk float off and onwards my friends right okay Oh, can I park there? Uh, I'm just going to check whether I can park. I'm only going to be five minutes. But you never know with all these cameras about now, do you? It says, Good Friday, 31st of October, two hours. No return. Yeah, I should be all right. Two hours there. Just going to have a quick look at... Uh... See hey, hey, just going to have a quick look at uh, Lake Windermere and uh, see all the boats there. I mean, the weather's just great in England, isn't it? That's why. This is down to all your EV drivers, isn't it? getting rid of uh, that global warming etc and bringing back the rain you've got us to thank for that right here we are Lake Windermere just look at this absolutely gorgeous on a nice day now I'll tell you oh god them steps are well they're a bit steep I'll tell you what is interesting I did look for um, charges on the zap map app but I couldn't get a phone signal for some reason. Uh, it wasn't picking up, so I couldn't tell you where the charges are, which is one of the new stories that I've got to tell you because people are actually having issues with their apps trying to charge their cars because they can't get a signal. But I'll read you that in the uh, warmth and the dry of my car. But uh, let's have a quick look around anyway. Bonus on Windermere. Look at it, it's gorgeous, isn't it? The British summertime for you. Hey, watch it, Swan, or I'll get you and make it look like a bloody accident. Oh. 
Now, for those watching abroad, there's toilets here uh, in uh, Cumbria, in Windermere or in Bowness on Windermere. And if you want the toilet here, you have to pay for it. So if you want a wee, then you've got to pay a few P. Probably a quid actually now or something. I don't know how much it is. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Don't worry, I'll put my camera away because I don't want to look like some kind of weirdo walking to a public lit. Oh, there we go. Says it on the outside. 50p! Windermere and Bowness Town Council, you're taking the pee, right? You're having a laugh. Shame on you. Shame on you. And I hope that you're caught short one day and you haven't got 50p on you. There we go. That's absolutely ridiculous. Taking the pee, that is. I'd rather, I'd rather go and pee in the lake. <laughs> I don't do that, by the way. It's probably illegal. And I don't condone doing illegal things. Abide by the law at all times. Right, I want to read you this news story, which is kind of interesting because the mobile phone signal here is terrible and it's not loading in properly, so I'm not getting uh, some of the pictures loading up, which is like there on there, look. It's just uh, the blue bars sort of like stopped halfway across, so it's absolutely nuts. But it's kind of apt. So, poor mobile phone coverage stops drivers charging electric cars. Two thirds of Type 2 charge points, the most common in Britain, are affected by bad signal hitting consumer confidence which is great because I can't get a proper signal here. Uh, and the other day when I was trying to download the app at Podpoint, that's going to be the same scenario. Electric vehicle EV drivers could struggle to use around two thirds of Britain's most common type of public charge point because of patchy mobile phone signal, according to a report. Um, the study found that 66% of type two chargers, which have speeds of up to eight kilowatts, blimey, that's going to take ages anyway, in Britain, excluding London, are in areas where at least one mobile network provider does not have usable 4G coverage. In the capital, the figure is only slightly lower at 61.3%. The vast majority of Type 2 public chargers requires drivers to access them via mobile phone apps and the chargers themselves need an adequate mobile connection to function. So there you go. If you haven't got a mobile phone signal, you can't download the app and you can't charge your car. Now, it's interesting that because I actually parked up in Sarah's car, which is a diesel the other week, somewhere out in the Yorkshire Dales or whatever, and we had to pay for parking and it was it, there was no cash allowed it was only card only or pay by app and no there was no card only it was pay it was pay by app only and I couldn't get a signal luckily Sarah could get a signal on her phone but I couldn't get one on three mobile so there you go it's just insane isn't it you imagine you're down to your last few percent on your car and you can't download the app to charge your car where are we going in this world I know where we're going public transport and bikes, which is what the councils want to happen. In fact, my mate at the council in Blackpool the other week, if you look back at one of the videos that I did with him, where it says Blackpool is a terrible place, basically, uh, or is it, which I don't think it is personally, uh, but it said he said on there that they want, if you look at it and rewind it back and play it all, he actually says, in an ideal scenario, we want people within a 15 mile radius, biking to schools, going to work, and just not going out of that area. And I reckon that is where we're going. And if we don't put a stop to this EV madness, that's where we're gonna end up, my friends. So say no to the electric car, onwards. Now, tell me, my friends, these cameras up here are not speed cameras, right? They're not speed cameras up there. But what actually are they? What are them cameras for? Because it doesn't say anywhere. Let me know in the comment section down below. They've been there for a while now, and they're watching you. Oh yes, Big Brother is watching you. And I keep saying it's all about control. And people say, where's my tinfoil hat? You can all laugh. All laugh at me now, but I'm telling you, tell me what they're for.
Right, let's head back to the car and go and put some charge in. Uh, and go and put some charge in. That's what she wanted then. Uh, go and put some charge in up at Booths. Um, 20 quid's worth. That should get me about three mile. And uh, <laughs> let's see if there's any over near uh, Keswick as well. Be interesting. Oh man, it is so wet. <laughs> I need a wee. I'm not going there. I'm not paying 50p. I refuse. I refuse. Right, okay, let's get back in the car. I've got an Audi uh, e-tron parked next to me. I do like the Audi e-trons. Not sure about the Q4, but I like the... Uh, I, I like, you know, sportier looking cars, but Audi have got it right. The Germans have got it right with electric cars on design. The only thing they haven't got it right with is the software. The software sucks. Tesla's got it right with the software. They've just not got it right with the looks of the car that looks like a suppository. Not that I'd want, not that I'd want one of them shoved up my rear end, uh, but there we go. Anyway, let's get back in the car, get on the road, let's get some charge in the car because it's perfect weather for charging a car today because everybody knows that water and electric mix. No, they don't, children. Don't try that at home. Oh, man. My, do you know what? The brolly's absolutely no use because my jeans are soaking. Oh, well. You know what? Sarah, my girlfriend, always says to me, it will dry. It will dry. It will. I'll just put the heater on. Only thing is, it'll take up a lot more battery, won't it? 56 miles of range. I am soaking. 56 miles of range. 25% of battery left. You've got to laugh. Anyway, oh, I can't wait to charge up in the rain. Onwards, my friends. Right, milk flow off, 50 miles of range, 23% uh, of charge, 4.45 in the afternoon now, uh, Instavolt. The only problem is you only get two hours in this car park, otherwise you get fined. So hopefully we'll be done by then. However, the issue still is there. If all these charges are taken up, then you've got to wait an hour or 45 minutes. It's taking down your time to charge. And believe me, I've charged here before and I have had to wait. Right, let's go and do this. Right now, I've had to take the microphone off the camera because otherwise it, that's not waterproof, but the phone is. So uh, let's do this. So uh, available. So let's go and uh, plug this in. Ah, it's the other. No, it's this side, that's right. 
I've got charges either side, charging points either side, but the fast charger is this side. Right, so let's plug this in. I've got my car right up there. That is heavy. Put that in there like that. So I just need to just get under the cable like this. Hang on. Wait a minute. <laughs> Tap your card below. Here we go. There we go. Authorising. Plug in. I've plugged in. It says waiting for EV. It's popped up on here. Uh, paid £15 charge. So it took £15 off my card. Waiting for EV. Charging. Uh, okay, so I think we're in. We're in luck here. Come on, go. It's not doing it yet. It's starting to charge me. Ah, oh, there we go. 23%. Two hours 40 remaining at the moment for a full charge, it says, but I don't think it'll take that long. No, sorry. Three hours and six minutes remaining now. It's gone up. So it might take a while. It's not giving me the full power just yet. But touch wood, we'll be all right. And hopefully they've got a toilet in there to use for free. Right, come on. Let's get back under here. Oh, good grief. Right, I can use the mobile app to notify me of when it's charged, but my Porsche app will do that anyway. So we're uh, going to nip into booths, and see whether they've got any loos, and then probably have a coffee or something just to while away the time, which is what you do when you're evangelist, when you own an EV. Right, okay, got myself a cappuccino, which you're standing up on there. Uh, I'm gonna take my coat off because it is absolutely soaking. It's that kind of rain that gets you wet, you know. You remember your mum used to say that? It's that kind of rain that gets you wet. It's like, doesn't all rain get you wet? Anyway, that was £3.20 for a cappuccino. Uh, so we'll add that onto the cost of charging your car. And uh, it's gonna sit here, sup on my cappuccino and uh, just wait for my car to charge now. So uh, just a while away, a bit of time now, waste some time. Because obviously time doesn't cost anything, does it? <sighs> Unless you put a price on your life, of course. I tell you what, if you think about it, owning an electric car, it makes you more cleverer, cleverer because you get to look at things and appreciate things like how many bubbles there are on the froth of your uh, cappuccino. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, hmm. I tell you, you learn a lot being an evangelist. And also, you get to be an expert on coffee as well. Hmm. Cappuccino. You need the coffee to keep awake.
Right, well, I think we might just get back to the car now. I think I'll take that with me. I don't want people seeing it. Probably leave it on the roof of that pole star or something. Or find a Tesla and leave it on top of that. Come on, onwards. Right, still raining. So it's now 5.34. Let's go and switch this thing off. We're at 85% and you only charge up to 80%, don't you? You don't charge above 80%. Told you that before. Right, just turn this, I'm just gonna turn this off. So we're at uh, price, hang on. 61.5 kilowatts here charging. So how do you stop it then? Oh, I think you have to tap your card again, hang on. There we go. Oh, there we go. This cable's heavy, by the way. Uh, what we've got here, complete 46 minutes, that was, in total. 47 minutes, 86%. Uh, use the mobile app to get notified. Where's the price? Where's the price? What's it cost me? What's it cost me? It's not telling me what it's cost me. I want to stop. Can I just unplug it? Must unplug it, I guess. We we'll try that. Oh. Right, unplug it. Not tell me a price yet. Ah, here we go. Price. Forty-six quid. How much? Blooming neck. Forty-six pounds eighty-five pence. That's mental. Instavolt. Where's the Vaseline? Good grief. Let me just pull the pants back up again. That hurt. Oh, God, blimey. Tell you what, I'm a bit sore in the rear end now after that. Instavolt, blimey. You gave me a good seeing to there, didn't you? Good grief. Right, onwards, my friends. Ouch. Oh, ah, ah. Hang on a minute. Oh, let me just get comfortable. A bit sore there. Oh, oh. Right, let's get back on the road. It's now 5.37, we're uh, 86, we're only 86%, I didn't even get a full charge for that. Good grief, right, okay. Onwards, my friends. You know, we're, oh, pothole. You know, we can joke about things and have a little bit of a laugh with electric cars, etc. And I always have a giggle about stuff and, you know, say Tesla drivers go dogging and whatever, and, you know, they're into swinging parties. Uh, but the reality of it is that there has just cost me an absolute fortune. And if I'd have had a diesel car, for instance, I would have been able to fill my car up, not have any worries or a care in the world because it would have already been filled up. I wouldn't have had to go and spend my money on a coffee that I didn't really need because I'll just need another wee and end up having to pay 50 pence again. So it's complete madness. And if I'd got my family with me, and this is why Sarah will not go in this car, other than the fact that she thinks that evangelists have got a target on me. Um, she just says, it's just a load of faff. Why would I bother? We, just, we always end up going in her car. And that's looking at being upgraded next year as well. Well, we've got a VW Golf diesel at the moment. And I said to her, what would you like again? And she said, oh, I'd like another diesel, either another VW diesel or a, or a VW T-Rock diesel or whatever. Because you get in it, you fill it up and it goes for miles and miles and you don't have to worry. And if you've got kids like me, young kids, I've got like a four year old uh, boy, which is James, and I've got Harriet. And the last thing that you need to be doing is spending 40 odd minutes trying to keep them entertained. When are we going? When are we going? Are we done yet? Are we going to get there? Yeah, are we done? When are we going? And then you don't want all that. 
and it makes it more difficult. And you've got people like Morag who comment on my channel saying, oh, I think you'll find that most people charge at home. And they've always got an argument. But the fact of the matter is, all them charging bays were taken up by cars charging. So no, not everybody charges up at home. Fact, there it is in picture. And no, I didn't pay any of them. They're not paid actors to take up the charging points. So for goodness sake, when are we going to actually just come to the fact that electric cars don't work? And instead of pushing this stupid narrative, it's absolutely ridiculous. And we've got other uh, YouTube channels that uh, push that narrative. And I, I reckon if you look into it, they're paid by the government to actually push that narrative. Look into it. I'm not saying who, but they're paid to push this narrative. I'm sorry if it's a bit dark. It's grey and it's not even it's not even sunset yet. There's another three hours before sunset if you can see the sun. But when are we going to actually come to the to, to the conclusion that they don't work? And all the people saying, "Oh, I bet you were the same when we changed from horse and cart to internal combustion." I'm going to tell you this. The electric car came out in the 1800s. This is not new. We've done it before. It didn't work then. We learned from it. And now we're doing it again. It's just, it's pathetic. All them other channels that are pushing the EV narrative, just look into it and I think you'll find there's a reason for it. Don't fall for the EV scam. You've seen it here. It's not acting. I've had 40 odd minutes wasted, plus a lot of money. Anyway, let's have a look at the English lakes if you can see it for the rain and the mist. <laughs> Wouldn't be the Lake District otherwise though, would it? So we've just gone past Rydal Water there on the left, heading towards Grasmere, which I believe, and you can correct me in the comments section if I'm wrong, is where gingerbread was invented or made. I'm not sure, you'll have to let me know in that comment section, but it's not all moaning on this channel about electric cars. There's a little bit of scenery as well, and a little bit of laughter, and a little bit of fun, and uh, that's what we want, isn't it? In this life where everyone's trying to control us, and uh, put us into 15 minute cities and stuff. Anyway, there we go, onwards. I tell you what, there's some gorgeous scenery. I'm gonna try and get out and show you along the way what I, what I can anyway with the weather like this. But to be fair, I grew up in the Lake District and the weather's not changed. It's always been like this, apart from in summer, in the middle of summer, you do get some nice days. And the Lake District is absolutely gorgeous. This is Grasmere now. Uh, there we go, look at that, you can't see that really through the window, but I will try and stop and show you some scenery along the way and just get out because it is a gorgeous place. We're now entering Grasmere.
Right, milk float off. Can't believe it, right? We're in the middle of nowhere, right? Feel me are there, and there's a, a car park here, and it's chargeable 24 hours a day. Can I see any cameras on here? If there's any cameras on here, then I'll be very surprised because I haven't even got a mobile phone signal here. Um, and I'm only going to be here for five minutes. So I'm not paying. I'm not paying. You wanted to charge me 50p for the loo. Right, milk float off. I just want to show you the uh, view here. And then I just want to read you something. So come on. Right, put my coat on. And before anyone says I'm not parked in disabled, that's disabled. This space here isn't, because you always get your keyboard warriors. I'm not parked in the disabled, right? Listen, I'm not parked in the disabled. I don't do that. Uh, right, let me get my coat on. Oh, let me uh, read you something. Good grief. Oh, breathe that fresh air. <coughs> See, disabled, parking, not disabled. So I'm not parked in disabled. Right, it's a bit chilly. Let me get my brolly. Actually, I won't get my brolly. I'll just quickly show you this and I'll read you what I've got to read in the car. Because it's, uh, it's a bit wet and it's a bit chilly. Right, can we get through here? Will this gate open? How do you do this? There we go. Oh my word. It's brisk! It's brisk! Let's have a quick look and then get back in the car! Oh, look at all the sheep in the field. It reminds me of all the people that fall for the EV narrative. Oh, we must buy an EV. Bah! We must buy an EV. Bah! It's the future. Bah! Bah! Lambs to the slaughter. Come on, I can work this out. I've got an EV. I used to have a petrol. Close it behind. Here we go, look, two hours, right? Four pounds and, right, people who say cash is king. Look at this, right? If you've got no card and you've only got cash, contactless card payments only. Your money is no good here. And this is probably why, because somebody looks like they've tried to take out the coin holder bit there. Right, back in the car. I tell you what, who needs a nice sunny holiday from uh, Jet 2 and stuff on a plane and stuff when you've got the lovely Lake District like this? I tell you, let's get my coat back in. Oh no, where's my keys? My keys are in here. One second, I lost my comfort opening, you see, when I had my uh, service done. Porsche took it off me. Shame on them. Oh. Right, let's go. Onwards. Oh, right, hang on a minute. My, ba <laughs> my battery's running out on my GoPro there on the window, so... Oh, jeez. Batteries. Pain in the backside, aren't they? Right, onwards. see through my glasses. I'm gonna to have to give them a bit of a while. I can see before anybody says. I can see where I'm driving. I've had to turn that lane assist off because for some reason this car automatically goes into lane assist and it starts trying to move you away from the middle of the lane etc. Well, I'm not near the middle of the lane. I'm, I'm away away from the line. It's, it's all these systems take over. The other day it came on uh, 
uh, collision avoidance or something because I was coming up Sarah's street and there was a car park there which I knew I could see and it thought I was going to go straight for it so it went did -da 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 -da, and just you could put the brakes on it braked to stop me avoiding collision with that car that I was not near I was going to go like that and then turn round because there was another car parked here so it automatically braked and I thought to myself if there was a car behind then I would literally have that smacked into the back of me because it's dangerous I just think it's dangerous all these systems these modern systems that they put on these cars I don't think they make it any safer I think we've got to a point now where it's actually making it more dangerous it's like automated driving on the Teslas which I don't think that works in the UK but I think it does in the US let me know Tesla drivers in the US if you're not at a dog if you're not at a swingers party um, or you're not out dogging or anything let me know if um, come on we're all friends around here let me know if it does automated driving over in the USA right Keswick welcome to Keswick 30 mile an hour cameras Right, now I'm going to park in here. I can't see any charge points in here though, in this car park. You do have to pay. <gasps> There's a pole star there. Blimey. Like, fancy naming a car after an exotic dancer. Pole star. Right, let's park up and then let's get out and see whether we can find any charges on Zap Map around here. And uh, just have a quick look around. Park up here. Here we go. Right, there we go. Come on. Park a little bit closer. That'll do. Right, milk floats off. Let's get out of here. And I kid you not, my mobile phone signal won't work. And I need to use my mobile phone to use the app to park. So that's going to be difficult and I can't see any charges because I've got no mobile phone signal. It's been a pain, isn't it, free mobile? It's just, I mean, what happens if I did need to charge? I'd have to, I guess I'd have to go and find Wi-Fi or something. Anyway, come on, onwards, need to get my coat on. Technology is great when it works, but when it doesn't, then it's a real pain in the bottom. And I apologise if it's windy. I've had to take my microphone off because it ain't waterproof. Oh, good grief. Right, onwards. Right, it says pay by the My Permit app, but I can't get my mobile phone to work. Weather unavailable because there's no, there's no, there's no, I've got a signal, I've got bars, but the internet's not working. I can try and say load, let me try and load uh, apple.com. Right, apple.com, it's not loading. I don't know what is the matter. I'll restart that. I think you can pay with contactless. Card payments only. So you can't use cash. Your cash is no good here. So what do we do? Press the green button. Press button. I can pay with card. Press card payment, there we go. Uh, select fee using the step button card step 70 pence uh, is for an up to half an hour one hour two hours is 370 
Please wait for network. Right, got my ticket. So that's good. Then we can go and have a wander around. There's a spoons over there as well. Now that's a way to get around. Right, let's take a walk, shall we? See what's going on in this town. Very narrow down here. Had to put my brolly down. Good grief, if I eat much more fish and chips, I might fit through there. <gasps> a BMW brolly. Got it with my BMW when I had one. Right, here we are. Look at this. The uh, town centre here. King's Arms, pub, walking rates for a night. Wonder if they got it for an hour. The Round, that's obviously very popular, isn't it? I think I'd rather go in Oddfellows next door and just get myself a quick pint quicker. Not queue for anything. Right, what have we got here? Ha! Fish and chip shop. Got my taste buds going now, what fish and chips. Right, let's go, let's have a walk around here and see what there is. Uh, got a giraffe over there, Another lots of pubs. Dog and gun, the lake road in. I did a, a steak review here. I think the restaurant now has actually closed. It was, uh, and I still speak to him actually. Hi Jason, if you're watching. Uh, but it was at the Sizzling Stone and it was a great steak, but I th is the restaurant closed or is it just, no, I think the restaurant's actually closed. I think it's just the rooms. You have to have a look. There we go. The Lake Road Inn, Robinson's. Wind your neck in. Ah, there's nothing like a brisk walk in the Lake District on a rainy evening. At least I've got some charge in my car. Oh, oh BMW brollies. Almost as bad a design as the grill on the cars. I think that's it. Somebody's laughing at me. <laughs> They're laughing at me in the window there. Right, let's find out where the water is. I think it's through this way from memory. Do you remember them bubbles there, them outside bubbles and tents and clear tents when we had to eat outside two or three years ago because we couldn't eat indoors, we all had to eat outdoors. So that was classed as outdoors, even though you was in a clear tent, zipped in with a heater, you were still outdoors. So it got around the indoors a bit. Well, the uh, powers that be were in the back rooms, partying, drinking lots of wine. Remember that? <laughs> the same people that are telling you to buy an electric car. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Ah. Sheep in field, shut gate. I'll close it. Thank you. The things I do for YouTube, oh, it's wet underfoot. Right, okay, here we go. Stay with me, Brolly, stay with me. It's beginning to tip it down. It's getting windy. Oh my word. Oh dear, that's a bit fresh. Ooh, good grief. No, no, no. Ah. Get in there! Right, I'm hoping you're going to give me a thumbs up for this video because I'm absolutely soaking wet through. I'm uh, down a few quid thanks to Instavault, 
So uh, just have a, oh wow, look at that, there we go. Right, well I was going to read you a couple of stories that I'd found out, but I'm going to have to do that on the next one because I can't get a signal for some reason, I don't know why. So <laughs> I've no idea, I think they're just coming through on this phone, but my other phone don't know, strange. Anyway, I'll do that in the next one. I'm absolutely pee wet through. So um, I'm going to go and get something to eat and film it. So join me on the next one. Do hit the subscribe button. Click the little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I wonder whether a Porsche umbrella would be any better. <laughs> see you later. No, still no signal, nothing coming through, absolutely useless. I wish, I wish, I wish I didn't have to keep my electric car and I could have a petrol 911 instead and that people wouldn't keep pushing electric cars on us because they don't work and they're a stupid idea. I wish people wouldn't keep falling for it. I wish.